Psalm 105. The Lord can be trusted. Praise the Lord and pray in His name. Tell everyone what He has done. Sing praises to the Lord. Tell about His miracles. Celebrate and worship His holy name with all your heart. Trust the Lord and His mighty power. Remember His miracles and all His wonders and His fair decisions. You belong to the family of Abraham, his servant. You are his chosen ones, the descendants of Jacob. The Lord is our God, bringing justice everywhere on earth. He will never forget his agreement or his promises, not in thousands of years. God made an eternal promise to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob when he said, I'll give you the land of Canaan. At the time, there were only a few of us, and we were homeless. We wandered from nation to nation, from one country to another. God did not let anyone mistreat our people. Instead, he protected us by punishing rulers and telling them, Don't touch my chosen leaders or harm my prophets. God kept crops from growing until food was scarce everywhere in the land. But he had already sent Joseph, sold as a slave into Egypt, with chains of iron round his legs and neck. Joseph remained a slave until his own words had come true, and the Lord had finished testing him. Then the king of Egypt set Joseph free and put him in charge of everything he owned. Joseph was in command of the officials, and he taught the leaders how to use wisdom. Jacob and his family came and settled in Egypt as foreigners. They were the Lord's people, so he let them grow stronger than their enemies. They served the Lord, and he made the Egyptians plan hateful things against them. God sent his servant Moses. He also chose and sent Aaron to his people in Egypt, and they worked miracles and wonders there. Moses and Aaron obeyed God, and he sent darkness to cover Egypt. God turned their rivers into streams of blood, and the fish all died. Frogs were everywhere, even in the royal palace. When God gave the command, flies and gnats swarmed all around. In place of rain, God sent hailstones and flashes of lightning. He destroyed their grapevines and their fig trees, and he made splinters of all the other trees. God gave the command, and more grasshoppers came than could be counted. They ate every green plant and all the crops that grew in the land of Egypt. Then God took the life of every firstborn son. When God led Israel from Egypt, they took silver and gold and no one was left behind. The Egyptians were afraid and gladly let them go. God hid them under a cloud and guided them by fire during the night. When they asked for food, he sent more birds than they could eat. God even split open a rock and streams of water gushed into the desert. God never forgot his sacred promise to his servant Abraham. When the Lord rescued his chosen people from Egypt, they celebrated with songs. The Lord gave them the land and everything else the nations had worked for. He did this so that his people would obey all of his laws. Shout praises to the Lord.